somewhere in Indonesia or Western Papua New Guinea. Looks it like is so. a gorgeous photo. Yeah. And, and so welcome Maggie's... everyone. Thank you. Welcome Thank to Maggie you. and Joe who are going to be presenting today from Silver Sea. I'm going to turn it over to Maggie first to do some introductions. And again, to all of you who have joined us live, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat or the Q&A. I will monitor those while, while Joe's going through the presentation. Um, but yeah, over to you, Maggie and Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Nora. Thank you so much. Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you all for our special Silver Sea event. Uh, today, we're going to take you on a little cruise around the world to some of the familiar and the not so familiar destinations and talk to you about what makes Silver Sea so special. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to our Vice President of Sales, Joe Leon, and he will start the presentation. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Maggie. And again, thank you to you, Nora, for putting this together and sharing uh, out, uh, your customer's time with us. And, and thank you to the customer for joining us. Um, I, I hope that we go through um, some important key uh, differences of who Silver Sea is and what makes us different from all other luxury cruise lines. And I'd like to start by playing you a short video that really speaks to the essence of who we are as a brand, the level of uh, detail that we go that we put into our itinerary planning, and really what our biggest commitment to you. Uh, our customers is. It's when all your senses become aware. You are present in focus. That's traveling to me. It's an urgent need to go and observe this world that we all share. of light, a pair of eyes that tell a story, an instant of perfection. Images printing on your soul. This is authentic beauty. It's all out there, trust me. There's always room for discovery. So I always start our presentations with that video because I think it really is so important to who we are as a brand and the commitment we make to you as a consumer. <clears throat> Every shot and frame you saw in that video was captured on location with Silver Sea and through one of the shore excursions that we offer or one of our overland adventures. And it's because destination is what's most important to you. And that video was dedicated to you, the curious, the adventurer, the explorer. And that's who we sell to, not to tourists. We're selling to passengers that are looking for these destinations to help enrich their experiences abroad, learn new cultures, experience new cuisines and see new lands. And what makes us different from all luxury cruise lines is that destinations. And that might sound a little silly because that's our business. We all take people to places. Um, <clears throat> but truly what you see here on this map is the biggest difference. We sailed to 900 different destinations in a single year. That's over much more than double the amount of any cruise line in any market of the industry and over 500 more than our closest luxury competitor. And what you see here is exactly that, what the deployment looks like in a single year. And what you see represented through the white dots, that's what we call our classic ports, taking you to all the iconic cities that the world is so known for that you uh, all want to go and visit. And then the red dots are our expedition product, how we take you to those remote areas in the world. And we do so with this unbelievable and unparalleled luxury platform that we've been delivering now for 27 long years and are very proud to be at the top of the luxury market. But destination really is the key because to you, that's what's most important is the destination. Again, meeting those people, experiencing new cuisines and, and, and visiting new lands. And then of course, well, this photo is really the best way for me to explain what the Silver Sea difference is. To sail through the Tower Bridge on one of our small ships is an extraordinary experience. And, and this isn't just sailing from London. This is a big deal. Sailing up the Tower Bridge, it's all lined with the Brits as you go through. They're all waving their flags because to see a ship um, go under this uh, this iconic bridge is, is really a rare occurrence and, and one that, uh, as far as I know, we're the only main luxury cruise line that invests in this type of an experience. And it's because we want the ships to be much more than just a means of transportation. Sure, we're going to be able to pull into the main harbors in, in uh, all of the world uh, at the big cities, but it's how we plan on bringing you into those small down, uh, downtown uh, areas and docking at the piers and, and the embankments that are available in the city. And this is what you see here. This is an example of what you see here, the Silver Whisper. 
docked with us in St. Petersburg. Now, many of you may have been to St. Petersburg in the past, but how many of you have had an opportunity to sail right up the river, dock right downtown at the English Embankment, just blocks from the Hermitage? And what you have as the backdrop for your beautiful breakfast in the morning is the city skyline, is all that architecture, that iconic architecture that we all flock to the city to visit and see. Um, and that's what our experiences are like. We sail into Seville. We sail under the small harbors in the Caribbean so that we can bring you right up into town. And again, it's this immersion that's important. It's the destination that's most important to you. And it's where we put in most of our details uh, and, and our planning. Uh, there's a reason we leave Alaska uh, on Thursdays from Canada Place in Vancouver. And that's because we want to be one of two small ships leaving on that day. So that when you do call in Sitka, it's that small, quaint little fishing town in the, in, in, at the, uh, in the last frontier that we all expected, uh, where if we pull in there on a weekend day, it's going to look much like a commercial port that you would find in the Caribbean. Uh, and then, of course, expedition is a completely different universe as far as experience is concerned. You know, we are really the infrastructure when you visit these places. We're the tour guides. We're the transfer company. We're uh, everything. Uh, your landings on these islands and, and these different destinations happens from rubber zodiac um, and our crews there to make sure that uh, that you're safe along the way. This is really a growing segment of the industry and we're the only cruise line that does this on a luxury platform. And you can see here, all of our passengers gathered out in the front of the ship where they're all wearing their parkas. This is as the ship's navigating through the peninsula in Antarctica. Um, and, and I'm sure that the captain has called out a pot of whales um, or, or some leopard seals for all of our guests to gather and view. And of course the expedition guides are here um, explaining and there you can see those guys in the blue parkas um, explaining what it is that that we're seeing and sailing by and, and, and expedition really is about that it's about people uh, it's about wildlife and, and encounters with wildlife and sometimes it's tens of thousands uh, that you get to take home as memory and and some this is in South, South Georgia Island this is a colony of king penguins that could reach uh, as many as uh, 200,000 birds. It's, it's common that we're there uh, right in the range of 25 to 50,000. Um, and it takes us 20 to 30 minutes to find a landing spot. And we have to be very careful not to interrupt um, or disrupt the colony. But imagine uh, standing amidst all of these penguins. And, and eventually, although you're at the foot uh, and right at the border of the colony, you eventually it quickly become surrounded by them and you find yourself in the center of it before you know it. Um, but just imagine what, what a tale this would be. And, and sometimes it's just one encounter that really sticks out the most. And, and here's uh, a great example. Now, I always say that this seems a little too close for me. These, these folks are on a rubber zodiac out in Antarctica. But um, here you have a beautiful whale just breaching feet from the zodiacs. And you can see our customers wearing their parkas. They can almost reach down and touch it. And this is really a common occurrence. This is what your experience will be like in the Arctic and the Antarctic regions. Uh, and many, many other regions around the world. And, and, and Expedition is not just the Arctic or even the Galapagos. Well, we'll find this little pup um, who's very, very playful during the spring season. He will, he will chase you in the water and wants you to chase him, um, much like a playful puppy. But Expedition, really, there's a whole world of it out there. You saw our map and how much of it is represented with those red dots. And it's going down into the South Pacific, into the Indian Ocean, uh, around the coast of Africa, places like the Russian Far East, um, and many, many other undiscovered places. Uh, we like to think that if land meets oceans, we can take you there and, and we can take you to places you thought you may not be able to ever access or some that you didn't realize were there. Now, how do we get there? Um, and how are we able to offer you this great access to all of these destinations and, and do 900 or worse? People think we're a small cruise line, but we're not. We're a large cruise line. We operate nine luxury fleets and this year we'll take delivery of our 10th. Uh, we do operate the largest luxury fleet in the cruise industry today. And you can see here, we do so by operating a classic fleet represented by the top four here. And then our expedition fleet is the center line with the new additions to the family coming in uh, down line all the way through 2022. Um, so destination is our, our key difference. And that's the one thing I really want you to remember about us uh, today when you leave here today. To, the, the biggest difference with Silver Sea and everyone else is destinations, not just how we take, how many we take you to, but how we take you there and, and, and how important it is that, that becomes a, a big part of uh, what we offer you in the experience. But our luxury platform is another piece and another key pillar that I'd ask you to remember today. And particularly when it comes to space, because I think this is gonna be an important conversation moving forward. And space is so important. You look at the size of the Silver Muse here with 596 guests. That's a 40,000 ton 
ship. Now for you, the customer, that may not mean much, but for us in the travel business, it means that 596 passengers on 40,000 tons provides you a tremendous amount of space on board and a great sense of space as you go throughout the, the, the vessel. And I can tell you we're the leaders in space when it comes to luxury. Uh, in the luxury market, it's it, what you'll find is a 700 passenger ship at that same tonnage at some of the other lines. We're here at Silver Sea, those extra 50 suites have been dedicated to additional dining venues, uh, larger public areas. And again, space, giving you a great sense of space is so very important. Many of you are sailing on large ships and don't wanna be confined. Well, sailing on a small ship just means you're sailing with few people, um, not that they themselves are small or confined. Same with the 388 guest Silver Whisper, uh, other, sh other ships in the luxury sector of this tonnage, 30,000 tons carry up to 500 passengers. And then you have the small intimate Silver Origin, which we took delivery of in 2022. We actually took delivery of two brand new ships in 2022, believe it or not. One of which was delivered on time without interruption in June. Um, and I'll tell you, uh, I'll go into detail on what they look like in just a moment. But again, uh, space. And I, I really want you to remember that. And then when, when we're going through the ships, we get to see um, what the luxury appointments and, and, and all of the beautiful materials that we use to build these ships. Um, Here's the introduction of the Silver Moon, which we took delivery of in October. She was delivered a couple of months late. Of course, she was built in Italy, uh, and they were amongst the first to, uh, to issue a shutdown. But with her comes Innovated Spaces. Uh, we have created a new culinary concept called SALT. It stands for Sea and Land Taste. I'll talk to you a little bit. I'll play you a video in just a moment on what this is all about. We've got an entire ecosystem dedicated to this area. We've got a dedicated kitchen uh, and restaurant, a lab. Uh, where there's going to be some interactive courses and then of course um, our bar area for for the salt concept redesigned restaurants you can see spacious here there's eight restaurants on the silver moon bars and lounges and when i talk about space this is a 600 passenger vessel and you could see these large wide open areas that we're able to provide then of course the silver sea suite experience which is our staple uh, we were pioneers in this when we started and launched this brand in 1994 we built the first ever luxury purpose-built ship featuring 100% ocean view suites that are all 300 square feet, walk-in closets, marble pony bathrooms, and we've stuck to that standard as we continue to build through our new builds. So let's talk a little bit about sea and land taste and what does that mean for you? Well, this is a really interactive culinary experience and, and we've been promising you as an industry now for 50 years that your menu changes with the ship's deployment. In every port of call, you're gonna have a new menu in the dining room. Well, that's really hard to pull off without a dedicated galley and a dedicated restaurant to the concept. And finally, we've dedicated an entire kitchen to this idea. And your menu will change uh, more than just a few items. It will change mostly uh, change every day with every port that you visit. That's going to be open to the entire ship. We have the salt bar, which is the same concept. We're going to change the libations and the beverages that are available to you. Um, as the ship's deployment changes. And then we have the SALT program, which is an interactive program taking you ashore where you're really gonna learn not just about ingredients and recipes, but culture and why certain ingredients and why certain recipes are so important or how they ended up being so important to a particular culture. And I'll play you a quick video. Um, we featured this program to some of our travel writers in late 2019 as we launched the program. Uh, and here's feedback from, uh, from some of our travel professionals. Food is such a driver behind people's decisions as to how they spend their holiday and where they go. If you're looking for a common thread that binds these different generations, it's food. What this program does is it really helps to articulate the language of food. I was thrilled and excited to be invited on this and I was very keen to see if this actually comes true, you know, will we get deeper? This program is definitely unique. Before you get to a destination, you learn about the food of the destination, how it's made, what you can expect. This actually was a really deep dive into the people who produce the food and the markets that sell the food. How often do you get to hear from a local expert? We had Maya from Bali give us wonderful lectures. Balinese food is complex, it's very subtle, and it's very beautiful to look at. It's well presented. Going to Coron, we went to this little community and there was such pride there with these people showing us their produce and explaining it to us. 
everyone was so elated after a wonderful day at the lake to really convene on this wonderful spread that welcomed them in a way only the Philippines can. You just get so much more of an insight into the culture of the ports you're visiting. The power of traveling this way is that you're not just going to one place, you're really following a path. The cuisine changes, the landscape changes, the cultures change, and it really enriches the experience of, of travel. This was feeling, touching, tasting, smelling. It was every sense was being bombarded. What was incredible about our salt experience was that we got to see Bali the way it truly is and truly was. So a little moment preserved in time and brought to us by Silver Sea. No ship has really worked as hard as this to bring the shoreside experience in tune with the onboard experience when it comes to food. They just haven't done that. And based on what I've seen now, this could really set Silver Sea apart, truly. I hope you enjoyed that. And we're really looking forward to that program. We think it really is going to set us apart. My friend Art Zabarski there was very right. It is an innovative concept. Uh, it's one of a kind. It's more than just a cooking demonstration or a cooking class at sea. Uh, it really is an immersive experience. So we're excited to be able to showcase that to you eventually in 2021 when we return to service on the Silver Moon. And when I talk about space, look at this beautiful lounge. This is your entrance. This is your reception area. When you first walk onto the Silver Moon and you could see she's uh, the entire width of the ship, uh, wall to wall, uh, and the high ceilings as you walk through. We're going to have a lot of events that are featured here. Captain's Cocktail Hour, a great place to gather before dinner and meet your friends before you head off to a shore excursion. Um, and then the small little quaint cafes and lounges that you would expect from a luxury line, they're here too. Um, and here you find our arts, arts cafe. Uh, they serve light fare, um, specialty coffees uh, all throughout the day. And I hear they've got a great Bloody Mary bar in the morning. Um, so I look forward to, uh, to hopefully seeing some of you at the arts cafe on one of our vessels. And then of course, all of the public areas and the outside pool area, the spa deck, um, all of these areas and, and lounges that you would expect from other lines. What we do is on a much smaller scale, a little bit more intimate, um, there is no rush to get down to the pool area. Everyone's going to have plenty of space uh, as, uh, as we go into the new ships. Now, before we get to the new ships, I want to talk to you a little bit about our accommodations because some of these new ships are built uh, a little differently than when we started. We're building more flexible accommodations to bring along more multi-generational families. We see many, many of you investing more and more in memories with your families. And so we wanna make sure that we have the accommodations for that. Uh, many of you are customers. You start with our top suites. Uh, and uh, fortunately for us, we do sell from the top down. So with the new ships, we started to build a higher ratio of the large suites on board, making more of them available to you for purchase. And as far as as bad as it gets, this is it, ladies and gentlemen, 387 square feet. This is the lowest suite we have on board uh, our ships. And you can see here complete with a sitting area. Um, we have a nine pillow menu that you can choose from that you can choose uh, firm or, hard, or, or soft or, or, or firm mattress type. Um, you see the private balcony in the outside. There's a walk in closet. Uh, on this side and, uh, and, and of course a marble appointed bathroom. Um, so very comfortable, very spacious, all of our suites. And this is again, an entry level. Now the second ship that we took delivery of, she is dedicated to the Galapagos Islands. And we're so very proud. This is a hundred passenger luxury yacht is really what we, what we built. But again, space, so very important to the overall experience, particularly in this destination. And we built, we took that into account when we built this ship as well. And this, that's what you see here. This is base camp. This is um, the this is where you're going to meet your expedition guide in the morning. But you know we built the ship to be dedicated as a museum to the destination. These museum style cases have many artifacts on loan from the Royal Geographical Society, which we partner with in London. Um, and then at the end of this corridor, you will meet your expedition guides in the morning. And this interactive wall is available for you to use when it's not being used by the expedition team. But here, he's going to be able to click on different infographic species of animals and plant and be able to explain what it is that you're going to see on that day so that you're all on the lookout um, for, for some of those species and, and animals. And then, of course, the, the, the space, right? Here is uh, an entry-level suite. You can see we have a window here looking out through your balcony because we want to make the destination part of the, uh, the ship's experience as much as possible. 
um, and, uh, and, and of course with a private balcony. And then I believe the lowest suite on the Silver Origin is 332 square feet, Maggie, is that right? Starts at 325 and goes up from there. Sorry, I had that reversed. Yeah, 325 square feet and then it goes higher from there. So, uh, and again, 100 passenger ships. So you can imagine um, how exclusive that feels. And in the Galapagos, we can only visit uh, with 100 passengers max. And only 100 passengers are allowed to visit any given island on a given day. So by default, we will be the only humans to step foot on many of those islands that you are visiting on any one of that, uh, those itineraries. And then taking delivery of the Silver Dawn, she is going to feature all of those great amenities that I just covered about the moon, uh, all of those great public spaces, the SALT program, and of course, all eight of her dining venues, which by the way, um, on the Spirit, the Muse, the Moon, and the Dawn, um, our four larger ships, they feature eight dining venues for you to choose from, which is by far the greatest variety in the culinary experience offered at sea um, and, and the most amount of choices. So we talked about destination being the key difference. We talked and showed you what our luxury platform looks like, how what 27 years of history of being a luxury cruise line can provide and, and, and what we do with our ships and our interior spaces. Um, but what you didn't expect is the third pillar of Silver Seas brand, and that's a real strong value proposition for you, our customers. And, and um, I always say that there are two numbers when it comes to your vacation purchases. There is the price, and then there's the end cost once you get home. And here at Silver Sea, the price and the cost are often the same number. And that's because we're all inclusive. And that's one thing that I do want you to go into detail with your agents is let's build a comparison on what you've been paying for on some of the other lines. Those of you sailing in large suites on the other lines have probably been paying for a luxury experience you have yet to have. And here at Silver Sea, when we include all of these items, we have the spacious suites, we talked about that, the intimate ships and the access to the world they give you. But the onboard gratuities, the free Wi-Fi, the butler service. And by the way, this isn't an elevated title for a cabin steward. You have a room attendant. This lady and gentleman are here to pay attention to you and what's most important to you and the details, the small details that are gonna make this the most memorable experience you've ever had. Wine spirits in sweet bar. We talked about the numerous dining options that are available. Um, and I could tell you all that this is a completely different way to experience a holiday. To have a, a, an all-inclusive experience where you've paid for it 120 days before you've gone is a far different uh, experience than having the constant reminder with every passing day that you're still paying for this vacation or sometimes at the turn of every corner. Um, and, and I can assure you that uh, I always joke, if you put your hand over your glass when the waiter pours you a glass of wine, it's because you don't want a third one, not because you're processing a $13 transaction. Um, and that really does make a difference in the overall experience. And that goes for anything on board, uh, whether it be our coffees, our waters, our alcoholic, non-alcoholic beverages, uh, and, and the Wi-Fi. And then on the expedition, everything's included because I mentioned it earlier, we really are the infrastructure, we're the entire tour operator. And so all of your exploration ashore is included when you sail on an expedition product. We also feature economy air included in all of our, all of our uh, prices. And for those of you that use your own miles or prefer to book your own air, there are air credits that are given for non-use. Now, we've strengthened this message of value um, yet again, and even more by the announcement in December uh, after June 1st of 2022, all voyages will not only include air, they will also include shore excursions in every single port of call. There's going to be a choice of excursions for you to choose from um, and excursions taking you to the main highlighted areas of uh, the port of call that you're going to. This is not just a city bus tour that we're offering you. We're offering you the tours to Catherine's Palace in St. Petersburg or Peterhof or the Hermitage. We're taking you to Venice and getting you um, down uh, into San Marco. We're also taking you to the Vatican. So all of the types of tours that you're interested in taking will be the types of tours that we include. Now, some will have to have a, a surcharge. Um, helicopter rides to Mendenhall Glacier, it's hard to find 600 passenger helicopters, so we'll probably have to keep passing those charges on to customers, um, but those are also discounted, even the excursions that have a fee associated to them. So starting June 1st of 2021, our value proposition becomes even stronger um, by adding shore excursions in every single port of call and giving you more access to the ports that you're visiting. So I won't go through all 900 destinations uh, because I, I'd like you all to join us again at some point, but I will just kind of go through some of them quickly. We offer grand voyages throughout the world. We have a grand Mediterranean voyage. It's 90 nights taking you around the entire continent of Europe. It's incredible. It has no repeat ports of call. Uh, so look for that. 
We sail in Africa and the Indian Ocean. We have sailings to the Maldives and, and the Seychelles. We have uh, a sailing through the Indian Ocean actually that takes you and it's gonna be a historic first time ever call in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We're gonna be the first cruise line to ever carry passengers to that, to that country, um, stopping there in Jeddah in June as we do uh, one of our tours through that region. So please look out for that. Alaska talked about uh, what the seven night Alaska experience is like and what and the little things that we do to make it uh, different, like leaving on Thursdays. We also have a Russian Far East sailing that takes you out into the Russian Far East and opportunity to see um, some amazing wildlife and birds, really a lot of birds, some of the most important breeding grounds for, for seabirds. Um, Asia, uh, we've got a full deployment in Asia, going to Hong Kong, we're take, going into China, many of those ports. But the one place I want to really highlight is the amount of time we spend in Japan. Um, we're the second, we have the second highest presence of any cruise line in the island of Japan. We have many voyages that are circumnavigating round trip Tokyo, going out to South Korea. So please, um, I speak with our friends here about getting to Asia and, and possibly sailing uh, around Japan. I talked to you about Antarctica and what a humbling experience this must be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is as close as you can get to leaving the planet without actually having to do so. This is a, a, a really um, transforming experience. You can, you can imagine how humbled these folks are sailing through the sea of ice surrounded by these beautiful mountains. Um, and, and really, we all get a great sense of just how small we are in the grand scheme of things. And I think it's a good feeling for us all to have. So please, um, if you haven't been to the last continent, uh, we can take you there in the most comfort. Arctic and Greenland, uh, we sail to the northern Arctic regions. We have many, many voyages going from Svalbard. We also have um, sailings around trip Kangerlussik for seven nights, spending some time on Greenland. Opportunity to see polar bear. People ask all the time, what's the difference between the Antarctic regions and the Arctic regions? And the best way for me to describe it in the Antarctic, we know where the animals are. We know where the colonies live um, and are established and we know where the, the whales feed and breed. So we visit them. We take you to go visit them. And, and in the Arctic, it's very much like a safari. We have to go and search for these animals. Sure, we know where we're, they're likely breeding and feeding or hunting, um, but it is very much uh, an expedition, very much a safari and, and quite exciting. And we will wake you up at two in the morning for the for the, uh, the Northern Lights, that's for sure. Um, the Mediterranean is our home. We've got the most amount of sailings in this area. We really are the leaders in the Med. We've got exclusive partnerships throughout the entire region. Uh, for example, the Monaco Grand Prix, we've got a partnership with the Monaco Dance Academy uh, that has a studio that overlooks the final turn of the race. We have a, a guided and hosted tour uh, and exclusive event at the studio. So, um, and we have partnerships like that throughout the entire Mediterranean. Uh, Northern Europe and the British Isles, again, spending a lot of time here, going into the Norwegian fjords, lots of time in Reykjavik around Iceland, um, and we have a really neat expedition going to the British Isles, which I keep highlighting because I just can't imagine what it would feel. I've, I've been to these cliffs and looked down. I can't imagine what it would be like to be on a zodiac at the foot of these cliffs looking up and, and really getting a sense for their grandeur and understanding how important they are to wildlife in the region. Caribbean and, the, and Central America, we have plenty of sailings there. This isn't the Western and Eastern Caribbean routes. We go to really off the beaten path places like Montserrat. We take you into the small harbors in the Caribbean. And so uh, you'll find sailings that go from Fort Lauderdale to San Juan, Barbados round trip to give you greater access to those Southern ports. Um, and, and so look for our unique itinerary offering there. Australia and New Zealand, um, many sailings here. We've even got sailings from New Zealand going down into the subarctic uh, islands uh, into the Ross Sea. Um, so that's a really unique itinerary. And we do the Kimberley Coast in Australia as well, which is a very, very uh, growing in popularity uh, as far as a destination for expedition. Galapagos, we talked about how much fun these little guys are to play with. And, and really, we, uh, this island, these islands are so uninterrupted by human in, in contact that we are just part of the scenery to these guys. And, and so it's really, it's, uh, it's rare to see wildlife um, acting completely natural and, and uh, unafraid uh, in their habitat. Uh, and Galapagos is one of those places. South America, of course, we've got a circumnavigation, 69 nights, so less than 70 nights are all around the entire continent, um, with a feature from Buenos Aires to Rio, which kick off the festivities in, in Carnival for a few days. So um, that's a highlighted segment I'd ask you to look at. South Pacific, we're in Tahiti, we're in Easter Island, we're uh, out in Fiji, we're, we're in, in that area. Um, so please, many, many options to choose from there. Um, and then 
our transoceanic as we position the ships through their destinations and through the different regions. Uh, we will offer transoceanic through the Indian Ocean, across the Pacific, on our way back from Asia to Alaska, uh, as well as the Atlantic as we transition from the Caribbean to the Med and back. And North America, we can't forget about our own backyard. We've got many options here. We talked about Alaska, what makes that um, really special, but Canada, New England in the fall foliage cruises that we feature in the fall. But what many of you may not have noticed is that we offer a West Coast uh, Sea of Cortez expedition cruise. Um, you know, we have a beautiful, beautiful country, a uh, beautiful continent, uh, rich in wildlife, marine life in particular, out West uh, on the West Coast, especially. And so taking you to Copper Canyons, sailing up through the Sea of Cortez, having an opportunity to see the massive pods of, of porpoise and, and, and whales um, really is an extraordinary journey. So um, th th familiarize yourselves with your own homes uh, and your own backyard and, and call our friends about sailing uh, on that expedition. And I would invite you all to, to this website. And, and this website is really a great way for us to explain what it is that we do and offer you on, on our destination offerings, why it's so important to us, how we invest, how we plan. And you hear here from our travel writers, our expedition guides, testimonials from you, our own consumers, and then of course our photographers that are sailed throughout the world with us, really bringing to life what the destination experience is all about on Silver Sea um, and how we make that different. Uh, so please, I invite you all to go on to our Discover blog, Discover the World, so that we can show you what its authentic beauty is really all about. So there, uh, there are some programs that we put in co considering the current environment. There's a lot of uncertainty out there on when we're going to return to service and how we've secured your investments. And so this is one of those programs that it does exactly that, it allows you time to continue to plan, uh, to plan to sail, uh, but also gives you freedom to cancel if we do operate and you uh, choose not to sail with us. So you can cancel up to 30 days prior to sailing and receive a full value and 100% of the value in a future cruise certificate that could be used within two years of its issue date. So um, programs like this are out there to, to, to help you again, continue to plan. We know how important travel is to you. Uh, again, we call you our adventurers, our travelers, our explorers, um, and missing out on another year um, is something that none of us can get back. And I know how much it hurts me and my family to be home this whole time and, and thinking uh, too far beyond this year um, is, is not a thought that I'm willing to have. So um, programs like this allow you all to continue to plan uh, as you normally do, but also know that you have uh, your, 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 your investments are secure and that you will eventually be able to take that vacation. We are the friendliest luxury cruise line for solo travelers. We have over 50 voyages that feature only a 25% supplement, which is rare for those of you on the call that are solo travelers. Uh, we welcome you. We've got a great club on board. We've got a great uh, core group of solo travelers that sail with us year round um, all the time. So some of our most loyal customers sail as solo. So please um, learn more about the dates that are available to you there. And our early booking bonus. We have an, a, a promotion that allows you to pay in full. Um, your penalty stays the same. You, all of your cancellation terms stay the same. So there is no uh, ex, uh, change in your schedules. You just pay the, the, the sailing early. By doing so, you have the benefit of an additional 10% savings. And some of the dates in 2021 feature up to 20% savings. Um, and again, all of this is covered through the Cruise with Confidence program. So that goes uh, and extended beyond into first quarter of next year. Um, and for those of you purchasing a 2021 voyage, we're, we've featured 15% deposits uh, instead of our 25%, uh, making it maybe a little easier, a little more palatable for you to continue to plan um, and, uh, and put those deposits down so that we have that very important beacon of hope on our calendar that we can all plan towards uh, and, and hope uh, that we can get to do. So uh, with that, I want to end with uh, another short video. Um, really, you know, we're here making these extraordinary promises to you, uh, but truly the people that make it happen and, and the true magic behind our brand is our staff, our crew, uh, the people that eventually become your friends and family. And, and let me just pull the curtain back a little bit and give you a, a quick glimpse into who these guys really are. I have a call from a friend of mine, and he said, why don't you come work for us? So the company had only had one ship, it was like six months old. Uh, it was uh, 1994, November, and I came and I stayed.
I've been with Silver Sea for 24 years. Almost 15 years. Eight years now. 25 years. Wow. Four years now. 25 years. It's going to be 25 years pretty soon. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. I've been working with Silver Sea for four and a half months. My favorite thing about Silver Sea are the guests. No, seriously, they are nice. They know the life of Silver Sea much, much better than I do. I love my guests, I like to talk with the guests. They teach me about some things, not the other way around. It's a club that travels. I have visited like five continents. At least a hundred countries. Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Malaysia, France, Italy, Australia. <laughs> Many, 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 many. The Arctic. Everywhere you see iceberg around you. Mama polar bear, she catch a seal. We were on the ship, so it's okay. <laughs> Hill canal, where you the ship goes through this really tiny little canal, so you literally stand on the side of the ship and you can basically touch the land. It was amazing. We had a crew tour, so we went snorkeling. We're like a family. It feels like I'm home. Very creative. I want to be a part of it. In 25 years, I see myself here as a guest. Every day is a new day and a challenge. We have managed to create a wonderful atmosphere on the ships. We're different completely than others. Polite, nice and uh, with a smile. Giving to the guest more than they expect. That's why people come back here. A lot of years and a lot of pride in those smiles, and I hope you, you all enjoyed. Thank you for your time today, and I'm so glad that uh, to Nora again uh, and the team for for sharing their time and giving us this wonderful opportunity. And, and there's Nora; she's she's at the Salt Lab, everyone. Uh, Maggie and I are on the uh, on the Silver Origin at, at base camp, as you can see here. But Nora found a way to sneak into the Salt Lab on the moon, I guess. Oh, how I wish I was really there! Well, a big <laughs> thank you, Joe. Wonderful presentation. Those videos are just Amazing, love them. Uh, I'm gonna open it up for any questions. Um, to those of you who are, are on the line, if you have anything, feel free to put it in the chat or the Q&A. Um, otherwise, um, we just wanna thank you for coming and enjoying and remember all of your advisors that you're working with at Travel Leaders will be able to help you in planning and organizing your next trip. So feel free to reach out to the advisor that you normally work with. And I'm just gonna double check to make sure there aren't any questions. Nora, I'd like oh. to say something. Uh, if you are interested in sailing with Silver Sea, we have a special booking incentive for the next month uh, with a 250 per person savings. And of course, and that's applicable to anything that's offered through uh, your agency as well. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks everyone for joining. Thank you again to Joe and Thank to Maggie. You. Thank Have you. a great afternoon, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. you too. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.